Hi Ben here, and today a nice simple one for you, but I think it's a, it's a big, big one. So if you're someone who slices it or overhooks it, it's gonna be a relevant one for you. And we're gonna look at how the body moves in the golf swing. Now you see lots of stuff about how the hands, how the arms are moving, but there's very little on how the, you know, the body hits the golf ball, how the body moves, the center moves. Obviously I'm a little bit bigger than most of you out there, so it's a bit easier for me to explain. So if I'm here, and if you're a slicer, guess what? If I, if much as I try and put this club down on position, if my body starts to go left, and you'll sit here, starts to move left, my belly button's going left, so I'm trying to turn into my follow through, look where my club naturally starts to go. And this is the big thing I see in people, they don't shift properly. And I talk about this a lot where people don't complete their backswing. You know, they're not moving forward before they complete their backswing. They kind of get to the top and then they're trying to move, which is really, really hard to do. And actually we're trying to create this flow within the swing. So if I'm here and I'm swinging, I get to here and I start to move my mass forwards and my belly button actually kind of feel like it actually goes slightly right. Guess where my club's gonna come? On the inside here, then I can let it go. So nice and simple this. If your, your center, your body, your center of mass is moving kind of left and backwards over the top, if it's moving forwards and to the right, guess what? You're gonna be able to get it in here and get that draw swing. But I'm gonna do more on this because it's a big subject and it's something I'm you know, quite passionate about this area. But give it a whirl, have a look at where your center moves. See how it can change your goal swing, but just give it a try, see how you go. Any questions, of course, let me know and I'll see you all soon.